so we've now done one example where we were given chart length and earth distance and asked to find representative fraction. That was example 1. In example 2, we were given the representative fraction and the chart length and asked to find the earth distance. In this one, example 3, we will do the third type. We'll find the chart length from the representative fraction and the earth distance. A chart has a representative fraction of 1 to 2 million. What chart length in inches represents an earth distance of 250 kilometers? As usual, start with the basic equation. Representative fraction equals chart length over earth distance. And put in what you know. In this case, the representative fraction of 1 to 2 million and the earth distance of 250 kilometers. We now need to get chart length and earth distance into the same units. There is more than one way of doing this, but we'll convert the kilometers to inches. Multiply by 1000 to get the earth distance in meters, then by 3.28 to get it into feet, then by 12 to get it into inches. Rearrange in order to make chart length the subject of the equation, again cross multiply, and then use your calculator to solve the equation. The chart length is 4.92 inches. We explained earlier that the conversion factors are reasonably and sensibly accurate, but they contain slight rounding errors in order to keep them down to a usable length. These rounding errors are not significant in terms of accuracy when considered as a percentage, but when dealing with very large numbers, such as the denominator of a representative fraction, they can seem bigger than they are. Let's remind ourselves of how we did example 1 again, briefly, and then convert the units in a different way and see what the difference is. The question was, on a particular chart, 5 centimetres represents 7 nautical miles. What is the scale? We established our equation and then chose to convert nautical miles into centimetres. When we multiplied out, this gave us a representative fraction of 1 over 259,280. However, it would have been equally valid when at this stage, instead of converting the nautical miles to centimetres, to have worked in inches. We could have then divided the 5 centimetres by 2.54 to get them into inches, then multiplied the 7 nautical miles by 6,080 to get them into feet, and then multiplied by 12 to get inches. Multiplying this out gives us a representative fraction of 259,000 446. As you can see, there is a small difference between the 259,280 in the first calculation and the 259,446 in the second, but both answers are equally valid. Any multi-choice answers in test questions will be separated by much larger margins than this and you will have no difficulty recognizing which is the correct option. People are often confused as to whether a chart is defined as a large scale or a small scale chart. This is a large scale chart. It is at a scale of 1 to 50,000. Two centimeters on this chart 
represents one kilometer on the Earth. The chart does not cover much area, but there is a great deal of detail. Small roads and even individual houses are shown. So the rule is large scale, not much area, lots of detail. This is a small scale chart. It covers a lot of area. It includes Iceland, Greenland, Canada, Alaska, Siberia, Northern Russia, and Europe. This covers a lot of area, but there is not much detail. So the rule is small scale, not much detail, lots of area. So to summarize, large scale, lots of detail, small scale, lots of area. This seems odd to some people, but it is the right way round. The larger scale has the larger representative fraction. The smaller scale has the smaller representative fraction. The local large scale chart has a scale of 1 to 50,000. A typical polar navigation chart has a scale of 1 to 5 million. At first sight, it seems as though 5 million is the larger figure. But this is the denominator in a fraction. Let's fill in the fourth column. A fraction of 1 to 50,000, expressed as a decimal, is 0.000002. A fraction of 1 to 5 million, expressed as a decimal, is 0.000002. Nord point nought 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 two is a larger number than nought point nought 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 two. The representative fractions are in the right sense. The confusion occurs because the denominators are easier to handle, and so this is how we usually refer to charts. We usually call this chart a half million chart. Nobody would normally refer to it as a naught point naught 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 two chart. It is just too unwieldy. So the logic of large and small is correct. A larger scale is a smaller denominator. A smaller scale is a larger denominator. So, let's summarize. We have seen that scale is defined as the relationship between the length of a line drawn between two positions on a chart and the distance on the Earth between the same points. There are three common methods of expressing scale. A statement in words, a graduated scale line, or a representative fraction. The basic equation is representative fraction equals chart length over Earth distance. When using a representative fraction, you must ensure that both the numerator and the denominator are in the same units. Remember the following conversion. One nautical mile is 6,080 feet, or 1,852 meters. One meter is 3.28 feet. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 10 kilometers is 5.4 nautical miles. All calculations can be solved by initial substitution into the basic formula. We always want our representative fraction to finish up with the numerator as 1. 
a method which will allow you to enter all this onto your calculator in one stage, and which will work for any calculator, is to evaluate the denominator first, and then divide by the numerator. The answer comes out as the denominator of the representative fraction, and you then have to write it down as 1 over the number on your calculator. Remember, conversion factors contain small rounding errors. These are not significant in terms of overall accuracy. A large scale map shows a lot of detail, but not much area. It has a larger representative fraction as a number, but when expressed as a fraction, it has a smaller denominator. A small scale map shows a lot of area, but not much detail. It has a smaller representative fraction as a number, but when expressed as a fraction, it has a larger denominator.